While the new iPhones might have gotten a boost in water resistance, they're definitely not any more drop resistant. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace the display in your iPhone XS Max. Before you begin, make sure you follow the step-by-step -step guide on our website. It has lots of tips and tricks that'll make this repair easier. For safety, be sure to drain your battery below 25%, and keep in mind that swapping out your display will result in a loss in True Tone. For this repair, you're going to need a P2 Penelope screwdriver, a tri-point Y000 driver, a spudger, tweezers, an eye opener, a suction handle, and opening picks. We also recommend using a magnetic mat for this repair. It'll keep your screws organized and safe from rolling away. Start by removing the two penelope screws at the bottom of the phone near the charging port. Then heat your eye opener up and lay it across the iPhone at the bottom. Grab your suction handle and press it on the area you just heated. Lift up on the suction handle and insert your pick and work it around the phone. Try not to insert the pick too far because you could damage cables. At the top of the phone, gently pull or wiggle the display down in the direction of the lightning port. Once you've released all the adhesive, lift the display to the right slowly. You still have cables connected to the logic board. To disconnect the battery, you must first remove the top bracket. Unscrew four tri-wing screws and then remove the bracket. Disconnect the cable that leads to the battery first and then remove the three screws and the smaller bracket below the battery connector. Disconnect the display cables and be careful with the sensor assembly cable as it's slightly adhered. With the cables disconnected, the display is now free. To retain Face ID, you must switch over the front sensor assembly to your new display. To do that, remove the three screws holding the assembly in place. Unfold the earpiece speaker downwards and carefully slide a pick under the cable. Use the pick to pry up the mic and the proximity sensor plus flood illuminator module then use some tweezers to lift up the ambient light sensor. Now the assembly should lift up and you're ready for your new display. Before you install your new display, you should reapply adhesives to keep water resistance. You can choose not to do this, but remember you will lose water resistance. Time to reinstall the earpiece speaker and assembly to your new display. Be sure you insert the flood illuminator and proximity sensor correctly along with the ambient light sensor. Then fold the speaker back over and screw it back in place. Once the display is ready, go ahead and connect the display cables and make sure you connect the battery last. Everything all connected? Go ahead and screw back on all the plates and close up your phone. As you close up your phone, make sure not to pinch any cables. And don't forget to screw back in your Penelope screws. That's all for this repair. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to check out all of our awesome teardown and repair videos. See you next time.